So I thought I'd do a video to introduce my new Fulvia that I picked up this week. I've had a bit of a chance to have a look at it. Um, a few people have asked me some questions about it. So I'll have a quick um, walk around, show you some of the things and a little bit about what I'm planning to do with it. Right, I'll move out of the way and let's have a look at the car. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Um, it's a 1975 at Fulvia S3 1.3 uh, so it's a 1300 um, and one of the first things it's a UK spec right hand drive um, and the only cars that had the um, the raised the little eyebrows raised headlamps were UK for um, some kind of legislation to raise the headlights so in every market other than the UK the Series 2s and Series 3s had um, lights that were in line with each other, but they raised the outer ones um, for the UK and strictly UK. If you bought a right-hand drive one anywhere else, um, they didn't have that. They were um, just the same as, as the Italian and other markets of the, the parallel. Um, so yeah, there's the there's the car. Um, so. On, on the surface it's not bad, it's got a few bits of rust underneath, um, but let's start off, we have come to the back um, with the boot, um, didn't actually see the boot before I opened it because the uh, the little boot latch there was, was stuck in, um, and so I managed to open it um, to find a bike exerciser and a sausage dog door. Um, wind protector in it but it's got a spare wheel and actually a really good uh, condition rubber mat for it looks like it's had um, I don't know if you can see it if I zoom in looks like it's had a, a piece of metal welded in um, the bottom there but that's probably fairly normal it might even have had a, a new panel but I think it's just a, an infill bit which is okay but fundamentally um, the boot floor is pretty solid um, all looks okay um, in terms of it so yeah quite pleased with that and I got into it um, and uh, we opened the interior the, uh, the vinyl's pretty knackered um, particularly if you look at the, the top of the back seat is is really poor um, lovely green carpet which I'm not sure quite why <laughs> green carpet beige seats maroonish outside colour I suppose um, the S3 has a fairly naff um, steering wheel. The earlier ones had a wood effect rim, but the good thing is the dash is in good condition on this. Um, and whilst it's got a radio fitted, uh, or in place, I'm not sure fitted is the right word, um, it's, not damp it's not had any cuts to the wood on the dash, which is really good. Um, so I'm pleased about that. It's a five, five speed gearbox, um, and that's with all full vias. It's a dog leg box, or the five speed ones, it's a dog leg box for it. Um, but yeah, generally pretty good. I prefer the darker instruments that the later car, uh, the earlier cars had, but that's alright. Um, just to show the floors, pretty nice and solid. Um, it's had a bit welded, you can see from underneath, but it's not so bad at all. Um, trouble is, somebody hacked up the doors to put, um, or hacked up the door trims to put speakers in, but that's something that I'm planning to change anyway, so that's not really an issue um, at all. Um, the, the pull handle, somebody obviously pulled off and it's in the glove box. Um, so yeah, if we come round to uh, to the front, I'll just put this down a moment, and I'll open the bonnet. Not done that right. Um, so yeah, here we go. Here's uh, the lovely little. Narrow angle V4 1.3 litre engine, just the same, it's exactly the same um, under the bonnet as my uh, Fulvia Sport Zagato bodied one, different radiator, um, but that's about it. This one, being a later one, um, has some sort of emission control mechanism on the carburetors, 
which I gather the recommendation generally is just to take all of that lot off um, for it. So I've, n I've not looked into yet how it works. Um, it came without a battery and I'd got a very knackered one there which I put on um, yesterday just to see if it did anything, connected another one to it and got very very faint headlamps on it and things but I've not really tried. Um, did check the engine turns over which is rather nice because I was a bit didn't know. Um, the engine turned over really freely I've only just tried it with a, a spanner on the on the end of the crank um, but that's all right but the hoses are all um, ancient so I don't think it'd hold any water. It's got oil in um, but I'm not going to attempt to start it. So what are the plans for it? What am I intending? This one is going to get some modifications. I'm not going to say everything yet because I, I don't absolutely know. I've got ideas. I've spoken to a few people. Um, but yeah, the plan is to um, modify this one. So give it a bit more power, a bit more grip with the wheel and suspension mods, um, a few kind of little bits of modernisation if you like um, for it. So a bit of a resto mod um, or maybe a lot of a resto mod. We'll see how it goes in terms of that. Um, but yeah, that's that's where it is. One, one thing I will have to think about at some point is colour. Um, I quite like the colour. I'm going to have a quick go shortly, a quick polish, see, because actually the paint, between my looking at it and collecting it, the guy who owned it um, gave it a little bit of a wipe and, and wash and um, the dirt on it because it's got wet unfortunately this week um, but uh, yeah he gave it a bit of a wash and it came up <laughs> way better than I expected and there's a few probably see the mark there and things I mean I'm not worried about the paintwork but I'm just intrigued to see what the what the colour will come out like so might be a few photos later of um, a slightly polished bit but yeah um, hope that's of interest to people the uh, you know, a few bits of rust as you can see there and the bottom edge of the of the doors have gone but I'm not I'm not particularly worried about any of those things because um, well a I knew it needed doing when I bought it um, and, and B they're going to get sorted anyway so yeah might take a while um, and just to show there's a Mini here needing an engine, there's another Mini in the garage that needs some work doing to it. So there's a couple of things I need to do before this can actually get to the garage and that's when I'll really start um, start working on it. Anyway, hope that's been of interest um, and I will very very occasionally in the short term do some more updates. Thanks for watching.